Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel of Spock Aiden. Gaina. Oh, short and sweet. Yeah. The most expensive street in the United States, where do you think it is? Well, tell me. Well, if it's going from there... Isn't it? I, it's, I was, it's changing my guess if that's the right photo. Yeah. It's a golf, just a massive golf course yeah, in the middle. That looks like a dream golf place golf. to live. I wonder if it's somewhere like Malibu or... I'll, my, my initial answer was going to be somewhere in the hills, like California. Right. Right, like Hollywood okay. Hills type yeah. of place, like Beverly Hills Maybe. area. Yeah. But I don't know. Where do you think the most expensive place is over here? Somewhere in London. Yeah, I would have said like Mayfair, Knightsbridge, or. Uh, like Westminster, Westminster area. Westminster near yeah. uh, like Buckingham Palace yeah. area. Yeah. Should we get into this one? Yes. Let's find out. Indian where it is. Creek Island is one of the smallest and richest neighborhoods in all of the U.S. Located in Miami and made up Miami? of just one street. The island is home to more than $700 million worth of luxury homes. With only 41 plots of land spread out over 300 acres, a sprawling golf course and blue crystal water nice. becomes that looks so nice. and backyards of the island. That's so, actually like something out of a dream. Yeah, so I remember when uh, Dad and I, well, you came as well, but you don't remember anything. Yeah. We went, same thing, we went over this bridge and the, the area we were coming from wasn't really that nice. Like the gas stations had like perspex up when you went in there and then we went over this bridge and all of a sudden it was like diding like where are we it was called bal harbor it was absolutely stunning. where's this sorry it was in there uh, florida yeah. but the area we stayed in was called bal harbor b-a-l and then harbor yeah. um and we rented a um villa inside like a hotel there and um we stayed for like six days and then it was over the christmas period um, and we'd took, taken you and your brother for, for Christmas. So you spent Christmas Day there, opened your presents and everything. And then Dad said, why don't we stay a little bit longer? Because um, we'd paid for it on points. We had a Marriott points. So we Ooh. paid for it on Marriott points. So we decided we were going to stay a little bit longer. And he went down to the reception uh, and he came back up and I went, all sorted. And he went, no, we're, we're leaving. And I went, why? <laughs> because he was something like a thousand pounds a night or oh, something. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> so we were like, forget <laughs> that. <laughs> Island's wealthy residents. There's only one way to get on the island, and there's a police force patrolling 24 7, which means that Indian Creek is also incredibly private. But we're taking you where very few have gone before. Here's a closer look at the paradise known as Billionaire Bunker. Indian Creek Island is located about an hour's drive northeast of Miami, Florida, in Biscayne Bay. Massive mansions with private wow. docks line three shores of the island, while a sprawling golf course occupies its center. It's impossible to miss the island and its prominent waterfront homes if you're driving on one of the opposing shores, but it's almost impossible to get any closer and explore the island's luxury yourself. That's because the super private island has just one street that cuts through it, and it's one of the most private and most expensive streets in the United States. We were, I wasn't really expecting that sort of car to be driving. And it's one of the most yeah. private yeah. and most like, expensive. Just expecting a nicer car on a nicer island. Yeah, but also it like, looks like it's poured down. <laughs> yeah, it has, it? In the United States, Indian Creek Island Road is connected to a bridge that's manned 24-7 by the island's private police force. This road will take you around all the multi-million dollar homes and along the island's perfectly manicured golf course. But only the people who live on the island, their guests, and country club members are ever allowed access. That's how private this island really is. With an average home price of $20 million, the island's current 36 homes are worth at least $720 million altogether. Wow. That's a lot of wealthy real estate for a small 300-acre island. Of course, the residents who can't afford these homes pay top price to make sure there are no strangers wandering their property. That's why it's become known as Billionaire Bunker. Unless you've got the money to either own a home there or buy a country club membership, there's no way you're getting on this island. The island has a very small population of only 86 people. There is room for some growth, however. There are currently 36 homes, but there are enough lots for 41. But after those lots are bought, there are no plans to artificially make the island any bigger, and it's... I wonder if there's only 86 people, whether there's any incest going on there. <laughs> we've just watched a vi we've just watched a, a video about uh, Alabama where apparently they were trying to find people who you know were incestuous, but <laughs> you might find it there if there's not much option. <laughs> It's only going to become even more exclusive once all the homes are built and sold. Some of the famous and wealthy people who live here include Tom Brady and Giselle Bungeden, who paid $17 million for a mansion they're planning to completely demolish to turn into a more eco-friendly home. 
billionaire investor Carl Icahn lives here, as well as supermodel Adriana Lima. And recently, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner bought an empty lot in the island for $32 million. You paid $32 million for nothing. Wow. The property has 200 feet of private waterfront and comes with a reported tax bill of more than $472,000 per year. In charge of keeping the island and its residents safe is Indian Creek Village's private 13-person police force. We mentioned that they're constantly manning the gatehouse to keep people from crossing the bridge, but the island also goes as far as to employ a 24-7 armed marine patrol that monitors the waters surrounding the island to make sure no intruders come by boat. But there are plenty of reasons to live here that don't all involve the super thorough security. For one, lot sizes are a minimum of 1.25 acres, so any home here is guaranteed to offer tons of space. There's also nothing obstructing views of the water since the homes are all waterfront. It's a quick drive to the mainland, but the private road also means barely any traffic. And finally, all these billionaires and millionaires get to live amongst their peers, so there's no one walking around gawking at how much money they have. A problem that I'll never have in my neighborhood. As for the homes, most were custom built to their owner's high standards. Are you excited to see what they really look like on the inside? Yeah. Then let's explore some of the most expensive mansions on the island and see if Billionaire Bunker really lives up to its name. First of all, homes on Indian Creek Island are very rarely listed for sale, which makes sense since there are so few of them. But even when they do sell, they often aren't officially listed. As you can imagine, most of the wealthy people who live here have the money to buy in cash before sales even become public. But the homes that are for sale always have sky-high prices and look like this. This is a $24.9 million mansion with six bedrooms and nine bathrooms, and it's just a peak of the type of luxury people on Indian Creek Island live in every single day. The home welcomes you with an opulent double staircase and comes with things like manicured gardens, reflecting pools, and 26 feet high domed ceilings. The master bedroom is pretty epic and has two ensuite bathrooms plus a walk-in closet. And as expected, there is a pool and a private dock. This $27.9 million mansion is also on the market, or you could rent it for $100,000 a month on a one-year lease. It has a pretty luxe-looking entrance lined with palm trees, and inside there are four bedrooms and four and a half baths. There's lots of windows and spacious rooms, but the backyard is the real gem on this property. It has a huge pool with a jacuzzi, lots of trees and hedges for privacy, and a dock that's advertised as big enough for a small yacht. Here's a look inside another home that... Do you know what I found, though? I know it says that they're secluded, but I don't think they are that secluded because when you look out onto the dock, you look another house is looking straight over to you. It's it's not that secluded for the amount of money you're paying. I reckon that, yeah. I mean, if you don't think so. Yeah. I mean, look how close they are to it. I mean, you've got all those trees in the middle, but it's still not. They are pretty secluded though, aren't they, really? Hmm, I guess so. It ended up selling for $17 million. It's a Spanish-style villa with an absolutely huge resort-style pool with a sunk-in seating area and jacuzzi. Like Inside, there's tons of personality and features like a formal dining room, a cozier dining room overlooking the backyard, and upstairs, there's a balcony with a perfect view of the pool. Well, it's like a Spanish villa, isn't it? Oh, and there's another yacht-appropriate dock right down by the water. But none of these homes are the most expensive that has ever been sold on the island. That title goes to this $50 million glass mansion. It broke property records in Miami by being the most expensive single-family home ever sold there. It's actually the second time this massive mansion broke the record. It broke it first back in 2012 when it sold for $47 million. The mansion offers 20,000 square feet of space wow. and comes with a 100-foot pool, an outdoor cabana, as well as a spa, six wet bars, and a jacuzzi. While the epic houses and waterfront location is definitely what first attracts the wealthy to this exclusive island, the island's country club helps sweeten the deal. The golf course in the center of the island is impossible to miss. It belongs to the Indian Creek Country Club, which consists of a main clubhouse, private dock, and event facilities. The country club was founded in 1928 as a hotspot for aspiring golf professionals thanks to its unique location and unbeatable views. It was designed by architect Maurice Fadio in 1929, while the actual village was only established in 1939. So technically, the golf course called this island home first. Residential development on the island continued through the 50s and 60s, though very few of the homes on the island today date back to that time period. Tom Brady isn't the only one who had the idea to completely demolish a mansion on the island and start fresh. Many of the homes have been heavily renovated to suit their owners' needs. But the country club has remained pretty consistent through the years. To join the club, candidates need a recommendation from at least one current member, and it must be approved by at least 75% of the 15-man board of directors. The initiation... I bet it's really clicky there. What do you mean? I bet, like, everybody knows each other's business and... 
no newcomers are welcome, but it's just a real like, so, yeah. clicky, like, yeah. you know, pretentious place. Charges a whopping $150,000 plus $10,000 in annual dues. If you live on the island, that's not enough to automatically become a member. Many members come from off the island, and only 10 or so of the island's residents are estimated to also belong to the country club. The club has 18 holes in total and is known to host events like weddings and galas. The clubhouse includes a swimming pool, fitness center, massage and steam room, locker rooms, a bridge room, and a marina. And of course, you can only access them if you're a member or are with one, so you could get in trouble for wandering around the course even if you already own a mansion in Indian Creek. This island is so exclusive that even its own rich residents don't have automatic access to a golf course only meters away from their homes. But let's not feel too bad for them. We're sure they have plenty of other things to enjoy in this rich person's paradise. We mentioned him briefly, but the richest person currently to live on Indian Creek Island is Carl Icahn, who has a net worth of $16.3 billion thanks to his success with the stock market. What other expensive neighborhoods would you like us to explore? So I've never heard of him before. You, oh, no, I've not heard of him, to be honest. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, mental place, though, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, it's stunning. It'd be, it'd be lovely to live there, but I'm just thinking, with only, only being so small, I'll kind of click here and you fall out with one neighbour. I don't think it's like, I don't think it'll be like that, though. Oh, I do. Because the houses are massive. Like, they're kind of people like that always keep themselves to themselves as well, don't I they? I bet they don't. I bet they're all swinging and everything. <laughs> Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe button for us, please. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.